Hello fabulous Taurus, welcome to your horoscope for the month of July 2020. I am your astrologer Nadia Shaw, thank you for being here. It is a phenomenal astrological month and you will be feeling it as you begin this month and that is because we are still in a period between eclipses. It was last month that we began a rare and extended eclipse cycle normally eclipse season lasts about two weeks this time we've got a full month of eclipse season and it will take us right into the early days ending with the final of three eclipses set to take place right around the 5th of july now this eclipse will be taking place for you in fellow earth sign capricorn and speaking in supreme harmony with Uranus in your sign. I love this energy for you. I do think that this represents a moment of change, a moment of freedom. And part of what feels especially inspired is arising from you. And part of what is allowing new inspiration in is connected to where closures are happening as well. In fact, it is these beautiful Uranian uh, connections that speak to a sense of easy luck that ultimately leaps you into your future. Now, this eclipse represents the last of a series of eclipses that has been taking place in this part of the sky for about two years now. And so here we are. You're not going to have an eclipse in this same part of the sky, fellow Earth sign Capricorn, for a few years to come. And it represents closure. But again, because Uranus is there, it represents a new beginning as well. This is a part of the sky for you that has to do with understanding your place in the world. It is long distance travel, immigration, citizenship, higher learning, legal matters, political matters, all of that is covered here. And because it is a lunar eclipse, it brings things to a close. But again, that Uranian energy brings fresh energy in the mix. If you have been engaged in a legal matter, if it is that you've been engaged in an immigration or citizenship matter, if it is that you've been trying to understand your role within an institute of higher learning, a legal institution, a political institution, this is where things can move very quickly towards resolution. There is a closure now, but it is a closure that comes with happiness and a real boost, allowing you to feel free to move towards the future that you desire most. And for that, I think you may very likely feel this is a fortunate time. Now, as we navigate further, right around the 21st of the month is when we are going to have a new moon. This new moon is special for a few reasons. Think back to last month, right around the same time last month, we had a solar eclipse. And that solar eclipse, which is essentially a very powerful new moon, happened at the very beginning of its sign. Now we are having a new moon in the same part of the sky, but towards the end of its respective sign. And what that means is, whereas last month it truly was a beginning, that might have felt like it came out of nowhere because Mercury was retrograde, there were still more details that needed to come together. Now we have this new moon, but it also holds with it the promise of taking root and healthy closures now. For you, this new moon is taking place in a part of the sky that has to do with communications, contracts, negotiations. It has to do with documents as well. Filling out the right paperwork is covered here. Now, because this new moon is happening across the sky from Saturn with precision, it does speak to a sense now of having to find compromise. And there may be factors there that are less than desirable and yet necessary as part of this new beginning promised now. I would also say with Saturn involved, you know, Saturn is fair. And sometimes Saturn can feel uh, difficult and challenging because it can be a demanding energy. It asks you to be realistic, but the more it is that you are willing to be practical, the more Saturn can also indicate gains. And so through having the communication, the hard conversation, through being willing to look at those documents again, make sure that you filled them out properly, it can be that you do make gains at this time, but 
Yes, compromise may very well be needed in some way at this time. Now, this energy also speaks to siblings, cousins, and neighbors, and it may be these people with whom compromise is needed now, but it seems to be necessary if it is that you are going to allow yourself a new understanding with one of these key people. Now, where it comes to matters of love, Venus, your ruling planet, will be leaving shadow in the last days of this month. Right around the 29th is when Venus will leave shadow. And just days before, we'll connect with Neptune. Venus and Neptune have been dancing throughout the larger Venus retrograde season that we have been in. And this is one of those final moments, if you will, where it may feel as if you are coming to a depth of understanding, but at the same time, the energy of confusion is high. Now, what is happening in matters of heart as you end this month may in some way reflect or hearken to what was taking place for you in love way back in the middle of May. Again, the energy of confusion may be there, but at least now you're able to recognize where there has been disappointment as part of moving forward. For those of you open to meeting someone new, a big part of this larger Venus retrograde season learning for you has been connected to your understanding of self-esteem and self-worth and how it is that that is reflected in your learning through romantic love. Those lessons may feel very much on the surface as you are looking at and finally releasing disappointments of the past as we move towards the later days of the month. And all of that ultimately is to help you to understand more fully that you do deserve to see yourself lovingly, knowing that there is love in the world for you. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, this can be an interesting time as well. All is not clear, so keep that in mind. And if you are feeling like you're having to look at your own issues around self-esteem and self-worth, and in particular, your own uh, stuff around giving and where you feel you're giving too much, whether that is of your time, of your energy, even of your money. Well, this may be part of the larger lesson that does show up for you, especially in the last days of the month. But for all that, this can also be a time when you're willing to look at where you have been disappointed in the past so that it no longer controls or speaks to how it is you understand your future in matters of love. For those of you who are in an established bond, some of that communicative energy that is playing out about three weeks into the month may show up in the context of love, where there may be key compromises that need to be made with your partner or an agreement reached. And it may not necessarily feel like the easiest process, but there can be a newfound understanding as you navigate this time. By the time we move to the last days of the month though, it may be that you are taking into consideration how it is that perhaps you need to be taking better care of you. Again, this notion of giving, being intimately involved with the learning of this time and where it is that you have been giving too much without necessarily feeling replenished, some of those issues may show up for the two of you to work through and heal at this time. What I love about this month for you, it is an important time it is going to allow you to take all that eclipse energy of last month and truly allow it to show up in a new understanding and new possibilities for you now. This month's lunar eclipse in the first days of the month is also very fortunate and for you in particular, allowing you to feel like there is a bigger vision and bigger opportunity than you had recognized before. That in turn allows you to feel especially bold, and especially present in your truth as you align more fully with them. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.